Hey everyone, for this week's tech tip, we're going to cover some of the bearing options that are available in MWF. And the first one we're going to look at is based in the panel's properties. Just the simple bearing command. And if we edit this, we can see the different configurations that are available. Um, so right off the bat, we have three types of configurations. Your basic box header, which is type A. We have that same configuration with the inner members aligned to be back to back. And then we just have a type C configuration where the beam brace runs the length of the opening. So if I just kind of stick with the typical type A configuration, I do have some options that I can set up. Um, right off the bat, you can set your families pretty simply for your beam brace, uh, your beam track, certain option in here like the beam angle and the beam plate, the beam cripple as well, are all options that you could always enable. And then the respective families can be chosen off the list for those options as well. So fairly simple to get it set up. I just really want to talk about the placement. Um, we do have the option to place on the top of the opening. And there also is another option to place top of panel. So it's flush with your top track. And the next kind of checkbox that you have for positioning. Um, if you are using a larger opening than your members, you can always have it be centered on the opening. So we'll take a look at that. And then to actually place it on the openings. If you did want to place it on all windows, you can hit all spans. Uh, depending on the number of openings you have in a panel, you'll have span 1, span 2, span 3. And those will just represent all of the openings in the panel. You do also have the option with the top of panel option to have a bearing header run the full length of your panel along the top track. So I will just stick and place this on my only opening in here. We'll place this to be top of opening. I can close out of here. And I get my basic bearing box header. If I just isolate this, go look at it from a section view, you can see that it's actually centered on my openings. And if I were to come back in here, hit the centered option, basically realign these guys to be face to face. Cutback options are also specific for bearing headers can see that I've got maybe my jam interfering over here. I can go to the cutbacks in my panel's properties. And we do have some special options, again, just for that bearing header. I'll have this be, let's say, flush with my inner king. And the beam brace as well will stay flush to the inner king. Any kind of jack studs as well. I could adjust that for my bearing headers. And after that, I can see that my cutbacks are in fact adjusted.